Welcome back guys in a new uh, video. Uh, this time is for the comparison between two stride pods, uh, the old one and the new one, the next gen. The stride pod is a sensor you put on your shoes and um, it automatically collects a lot of metrics uh, including running dynamics actually without the need uh, uh, to wear any watch. In this video I configured both uh, stride pods uh, with the same profile, so the same conditions and I put them on in the same trainings uh, so to, to compare the, the data. So as usual we're gonna split the video in three main uh, chapters, uh, the specs, we're gonna see what is new in the next generation stride pod, a general comparison of the pods and the data collected and finally my conclusions. According to stride uh, uh, the next generation is five times uh, improved in terms of uh, response it has uh, new sensors, uh, new advanced materials, uh, new design, new running profile as well, just to tailor your power according to the different workouts. The real news, uh, in my opinion, lies uh, inside this uh, small uh, uh, stride pod. It seems that the new sensors uh, have been installed are much more sensitive to the running movement and uh, are therefore five times more responsive compared to the first uh, version. The increased uh, measuring point density uh, has probably also brought uh, an adjustment of the internal algorithm and so an overall improvement in the precision of the results. Two new metrics available now, impact loading rate and um, lower body stress uh, are intended to record the, the load of the uh, legs during the running and uh, your trainings and uh, so provide additional information for training control and uh, also regeneration for uh, all people uh, like me. Another option are uh, the new uh, running profile as I said before this allows the stride pod to to be set to one of uh, five uh, modes. Run standard uh, here the stride works exactly as before uh, this mode is always active as long as uh, uh, no other uh, mode is uh, selected. Track run uh, is when you want to run in the track. The elevation is deactivated uh, in order to provide uh, even cleaner uh, data. Trail run when uh, running off road, uh, Stride doesn't um, consider um, it useful to provide uh, so precise data in this case. Also, no alarm when failing below uh, set target zone. Treadmill run when uh, running on the treadmill, of course, Stride also deactivates the elevation in this case and uh, uh, switches uh, off the hair power to avoid the irritation caused by the frequently used fans. Uh, of course, there is no GPS uh, track either. Indoor run, uh, this mode is almost identical to the treadmill, except that the uh, air power is still uh, measured uh, in this case. However, to use these uh, modes, uh, you need to use the Stride uh, Workouts app uh, on Garmin or Watch or, or uh, on Apple Watch. On the inside, there is uh, the capability to capture lower body stress. Uh, it hasn't been particularly useful for me so far, um, since the metric is mostly a reflection of my running stress and also my power, uh, but maybe in the long run. Uh, it's gonna work. The faster processing is very uh, responsive, especially for interval trainings. Uh, the ability to react faster um, to the pace, power changes as um, compared to GPS was already an important uh, reason for training with stride power uh, in the in the in the wind version. This is even better with this update. On the outside has changed as well uh, quite a bit. Uh, the back of the pod itself is now uh, reinforced uh, to be much safer. The bottom has got uh, a pattern uh, to help with shifting around uh, on your shoes. The clip itself now also has some rubber on the top and bottom uh, to help uh, exactly with the you know, shifting around. Looking now at the data collected, it's pretty clear from the uh, chart that it is uh, very accurate. Look how many uh, samples we have in the next generation in comparison with the first generation. Then it's more responsive. Uh, for a moment I stopped to run and I worked. Uh, the, in the first generation looks like I stopped. And uh, when I worked at the end of the running session, the next generation continue to track. Uh, Instead, uh, the first generation stopped. So we have 53 minutes uh, of data collected with the next generation uh, in comparison with then, uh, 49 minutes uh, in the first generation. Crazy, huh? So it's more accurate, more responsive and uh, more sensitive. We can see that it's uh, more accurate because uh, indeed I was running 3 minutes uh, 28 seconds per kilometer considering the, uh, the treadmill speed and uh, not 3 minutes 40 uh, seconds per kilometer. And then you can see how better it is in terms of response uh, looking at these interval trainings. You can see the slope of the 
of the curve in the next gen is almost vertical. Power is the result of dividing strength by speed, so it's a measure of force in a measure of time. Stride came up with a way of, uh, to measure power with uh, an algorithm based on the output of uh, an internal accelerometer, uh, gyroscope, uh, altimeter and uh, wind meter. Um, there's also a temperature and the humidity sensor, if I'm not mistaken, inside, uh, which are probably used to uh, calculate some of uh, other metrics. Uh, one important implication of this when using stride, uh, it's best to leave uh, your body weight uh, set to a certain level uh, because otherwise it will change your uh, uh, critical uh, um, power so you will lose your reference. Keep in mind though that there is no way, uh, standard way to measuring uh, uh, power or what or running. So every platform has different results. Uh, Coros watches uh, seems to be uh, pretty close to Stride, the Apple Watch and Garmin more uh, far than uh, than Coros. Of course, the Stride for next gen uh, is able to talk uh, as well all the other uh, running dynamics uh, like the wind uh, version, therefore you can find uh, um, all of them explained in more details in the video hub here. So in conclusion, no question that the, the uh, Stride next generation is the best Stride um, yet. In addition of uh, the very welcome new design, uh, the faster reaction during uh, sprints due to the uh, higher measuring uh, points density and the improved algorithm uh, is also a real uh, added value. On the other hand, the difference with the uh, stride wind, uh, so the previous version, is not so significant uh, that uh, it is absolutely necessary to update uh, uh, to the new model. However, the stride, the next generation, is definitely more accurate and uh, the best uh, option uh, for a new purchase. The price is uh, $249 or uh, $149 plus 6 months subscription, uh, $9.99 uh, dollars uh, per month uh, for personalized uh, uh, training content. I hope it was useful. If you like this content, don't forget to leave a like. It's important for me and for the channel. It's just one click for you. Subscribe if you haven't yet and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any new content. And uh, as always, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain's face I won't stop till I hear him say